my goodness, the house is on fire. I hope Gerald's okay. Gerald, I'm coming. Don't you worry, buddy. Gerald, where are you? Gerald? Oh, you're just in the kitchen. Thank goodness I thought something bad had happened to you. <laughs> so, Gerald, what were you doing? <laughs> well, what for? <laughs> you know, Gerald, that sounds like a great idea. Do you mind if I help you? Just because I made you that cake last week that didn't taste very good. Are you saying I can't help you? <laughs> well, Gerald, how about this? We have a competition. You versus me. Whoever can get the most customers by the end of the day wins. <laughs> and if you win, I'll admit you were right. Maybe I am a terrible baker. But if I win, you have to let me help you, okay? <laughs> good luck, Gerald. I bet you don't even know how to get your own food. <laughs> But first, I need to visit my farming chest so I can get all of my supplies. Now it's time to head out to the fields. So I guess my first step should be making my first little farm. I mean, how else am I supposed to get all my ingredients? I am trying to make better cakes than Gerald, after all. Now for plants to grow, I need to add my seeds. And obviously, I can't have my seeds growing without water. Now I'll change it up, add a few beetroots. But now, all we have to do is wait for these to grow. Wow, look how much all of these have grown. This will be perfect for my bakery. Now with all my vegetables, I better start making some cakes. But first, I'm gonna check in and see how Gerald's doing. Wait, hold on, what's this? Two customers already? Gerald, what have you been doing? <coughs> Gerald, just because you have a head start doesn't mean you're going to win. There's still hours until the day's over, so don't you worry, Gerald, I'm going to catch up. <laughs> okay, Gerald, I see how it is. You enjoy your little bakery, and I'm going to enjoy mine. But just letting you know, you are definitely going to lose. Since our houses are practically identical, I better start with the outside exterior and make it a little more exciting. I'll add some carpet all the way out from the street, just so people know where it is. I mean, I wouldn't want them to get lost along the way. That'd be terrible. I should also put a little sign on the front too. Louise the Rose Bakery. Now my last and final step is to start making food. I mean, after all, you can't have a business without food. Now, if I want to craft my cake, I'm gonna need three buckets of milk, two sugar, one egg, and three pieces of wheat. So I'll just grab my extra ingredients out of here. And whilst I'm here, I might as well make a whole bunch of cookies and also delicious pumpkin pie. And of course, let's not forget about our bread. I'll put a cake on the bench just to show everyone what I have available. Now, all I need to do is wait for the customers to appear. Oh, hello, my very first customer. So where are you going? Do you not want to buy anything? Uh. You just want a spot to sit down and rest? Uh. Oh, my first customer wasn't really a customer, so hopefully I'll have new ones soon though. Hello, would you be interested in buying anything? Oh, sir, sir, you can't go upstairs. This is my own private quarters, sir. Can you please head back downstairs for me, sir? You're not allowed up here. Neither are you. What are you both doing up here? Uh. This is my humble bakery, and if you both want to buy something, you need to head back downstairs. Uh. See, thank you. I'm glad you understand. Although I'm still yet to make a sale, I believe I can do this. After all, I bet Jill doesn't even have any customers. <laughs> Hello! You want to buy something? <laughs> of course, what do you want to buy? <laughs> you want five cookies and a cake? Sure thing. Here you are. Hopefully this will make you very happy. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize. Please, please, let me, let me get you some more for my inconvenience. No, you're leaving? No, please, come back. Please, at least leave me a good review. <gasps> a new customer. Hello, what would you like? <laughs> One pumpkin pie coming right up. Go just for you, sir. <laughs> you don't have any money? Oh, this is kind of awkward. Yeah, I wonder if Gerald's getting any better luck than this. <laughs> at this rate, maybe I'll need to hire my family to come in and buy something. <gasps> Hello, ma'am, what can I get for you? <laughs> Four cookies for your children? Of course. Here you go. Now please, enjoy yourself, and come again soon, okay? After my only one profitable sale, it's finally becoming night time. Well, I'm getting a little worried. Maybe Gerald did end up doing better than me. I sure hope not. Well, I guess it's time to go check on him. But surely there's no way he did better than me, right? Oh my goodness, there's so many people here. Gerald, you have employees as well? What have you been doing? <laughs> Yeah, I know you've been baking, Gerald. This is what the point of a bakery is. But Gerald, how'd you get so many people in here? <laughs> Come on, Gerald, please. I already lost. <laughs> Extra sugar? That's all it was? <sighs> okay, Gerald. I'll admit it. You were right. Your bakery was better off without me. 